It's Thursday. That means we have a vet on hand to answer your pet questions. If you have a problem with your pet, give us a call right now. The number is 918-460-KJRH. We have Dr. Joe Landers here to answer your questions. And, oh, I am in love. He oh, yeah. This is, cuties. I've always said this is the best part of the job. These little guys here are uh, two little little puppies. And, and we, they're one's this little girl, her name is Beatrice, and, and that's William. These are little, little pal puppies. Um, I, I've had people kind of guess, but uh, they are half bulldog and half Sharpay. <laughs> and, that's, and they look like Aww. really kind of neither Aww. a little bit. And they are just so cute. Um, they are little pet adoption league dogs, which okay. is, and their number is 918-365. Uh, I believe it's 8725. And they're at, uh, they are at www pet org. So okay. but they're just great little dogs. Full disclosure here, I had, I, they were playing quite a bit before this. So they are much more active than this. They're but tired we, right we now. We did. We woke them up uh, to kind of kind of hear. They're just like oh. little kids but they're Gosh. just oh they're so nice they're they just and they're, they're good little dogs they're very little social and okay. i've been really working with them so Look at that but our, our groomer ashley is 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 fostering <laughs> so she's really been working with them so oh, oh yeah mine's whining <laughs> oh poor thing oh, it's like i want a nap though, so. okay well, we've got some callers yes. i guess we should get to you them <laughs> first we have crystal from inola crystal good morning what's your question hi, hi. i have an elderly oh, cat who has arthritis in his hips mm -hmm. And I was just wondering if they make any over-the-counter medications that would help him with his pain. You know, cats you got to be really careful with because they actually they're missing some enzymes in their livers that do some of our anti-inflammatories that, that we can uh, meta metabolize correctly. What I want you to do is call your veterinarian and kind of talk a little bit because there's some things that you can do. A lot of times you only have to do it every two or three days that can help them quite a bit. It depends on how bad it is and everything, but they're, we got to be careful with those. So you want to call and kind of, and th the answer to over-counter is not not so much, uh, but there are some really good arthritis deals. We've noticed now as cats get older, they actually get arthritis. A lot of times mm -hmm. when I was in school, we were taught, oh, you know, cats don't get arthritis. That's not true. Uh, they're just uh, just tougher than we are, so a lot of times they don't show it quite as okay. quite as much. So, All right, yes. next we have, I believe, George in Tulsa. Hey, George, what's your question? Uh, yes, I do have a question. Yes. Um, I have two cats. One I think is part Himalayan and part Persian. The uh -huh. other one, I'm told is a full blood rag doll. I got her from Cat Rescue. Mm -hmm. I've had him for 22 days. I was wondering how long should I wait for I allow him to uh, venture outside? I have cat doors in my house, and I've done this before. Yeah. Should I yeah. wait three weeks or six weeks? You know what I'll what I'll tell people is you know cats like the outdoors some, and I want to be careful because you know a lot of times they can get in trouble with cars and dogs and and frankly people for that matter too. Uh, you know, there's a lot, a lot of things outside, I've, raccoons and other things. I'm not a big on, on letting them out, but if you do, what I'll tell people a lot of times is, is you can put kind of like a little, a little harness or a leash and, and kind of teach them to kind of stay in the backyard a little bit. Your question's a good one. You know, cats are very territorial. If they get kind of scared, they may run off and not come back. Usually it takes anywhere from four to eight weeks for habits and for people to kind of uh, adapt to a new situation. So I'll tell people, you're, you're, I, I, and I, I would wait at least, at least another two to four or five weeks or so and just make sure that the cat's comfortable with the situation. A lot of times, open the back door. I know it's cold or whatever, so they, and, and if there's a screen door or window, so they can look out and kind of see that so that they'll know what's outside so they don't get freaked out. So. Okay, but well, we are out of time you for bet. callers Thank today. You. William and Beatrice were just perfect little angels. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like more information on any of the animals, uh, you can call 918-744-8280 or log on to animalaid.org. And of course, Dr. Landers is here every Thursday to answer your pet questions. If you missed any of today's segment, want to watch it again, just go to kjrh.com, click on the Lifestyles tab or to learn more about the pets you need, who need homes, and to find out more about Heritage Veterinary Hospital. Dr. Joe, thank you. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate it. You bet. Justin.